Hey, Greg Silva. It is week one for resilience. This is February 2020 for Black Belt Excellence. This is a great month. Resilience is a super lesson that we've never taught through Black Belt Excellence before, but it's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, to be resilient, you have to have perseverance. To be resilient, you have to have a positive attitude. So there's a lot of things that we've done prior in Black Belt Excellence that we can go back and reinforce through resilience. Uh, the first week, we're just going to have the kids memorize something. Uh, it's all about resilience. You can talk about it um, in the PDF uh, sheets. I did put a definition of resilience, but we're going to talk to kids about resilience. Uh, you can talk to them about a basketball team that was in the NBA and they're in the finals, and all of a sudden they lost the first three games and they came back to win the next four. I mean, that's a team that's resilient. And there's quite a few stories in the PDFs that talk about people or teams that showed resilience. But resilience is a setback. But it's really a setup for a comeback. And that's what we're going to have the kids memorize. So we're going to talk about in life, in martial arts, there's certain times that we come and it's a stumbling block. All of a sudden we hit a wall. Maybe you're on tournaments and the last couple of tournaments uh, you uh, didn't win. You lost in forms. You sparred and the guy beat you three to nothing. There's certain things that are setbacks, but that's okay. As long as we don't give up, as long as we persevere, it's really just being set up for a comeback. So that's what the kids have to memorize. So we're going to talk about resilience at the beginning of class. And you're going to go, uh, resilience, the definition, guys, is it's a setback. But it's really a setup for a comeback. So you're going to say, resilience is a setback. And they're going to yield back. It's a setup for a comeback. So the, we're going to be doing drills in class. And maybe we're doing some push-ups or sit-ups and things are getting a little tough with the kids go guys you know all of a sudden we're supposed to be doing all these push-ups and i think this is a setback and they're gonna go no it's a setup for a comeback you go exactly right because if we want to do more push-ups we just have to push ourselves a little harder we have to dig a little deeper we have to show some perseverance we have to show that positive attitude all those important attitudes for future black belts, we have to display that. And then a set, setback is nothing. It's simply a setup for a comeback. Easy this week. That's all I want them to, to learn and memorize. You're going to be doing that through the entire month of January. But we're going to get some uh, more sayings where you're going to say something and they're going to feed it back. But the important thing is just to get that through this week. Now, at the end of class, have them all sit down. Uh, maybe they're going to take a knee. You're going to stand in front of them. You're talking to the kids and you're talking to the parents. And you talk about what you did in class today. You talk about them saying that saying that, you know, <clears throat> setback is only a setup for a comeback. And then read them the PDF. The PDFs go along with the resilience. So they have a good lesson at the beginning of class. They're empowered throughout the class. And then at the very end of class, you're sitting down, you're doing the mat chat, and you're reading that PDF for them. Uh, share those things on Facebook. Um, a lot of schools are noticing a big difference on the response with their Facebook posts when they're actually teaching the Black Belt Excellence class or they're reading that PTF, uh, PDF. Talk about that. Maybe even at the beginning of the week, say, hey, kids, we've got something really exciting. Today we're going to be talking about, and then give them a little tidbit of the lesson, and then you're going to follow up to the thorough lesson in the class. Have fun. Enjoy. If you have any questions, give me a call or email me at greg at gregsilva.com.